sometimes I think just like everybody, I don't understand all of God's ways. I can't figure God out. And sometimes I want to, I want to try to fit him in the box that uh, my mind can comprehend. I want to try to get him in bite-sized pieces. But isn't it true that the part of God that scares us is also the part of God that encourages us and gives us peace and hope? Hi, my name is Stacy Hennigan and I am a pastor of Key Point Church along with my husband. We pastor in Northwest Arkansas and I'm also an author of a new book called Breathe Again. Twenty-one years ago, my husband and I lost our 21-month-old daughter to brain cancer. It wasn't just the loss that got me. I mean, that really challenged me, obviously, but it was also the fact that for 10 months, we prayed and we believed and we truly knew that God was going to heal our daughter Haven. We just knew it. I, I mean, I just thought at any moment, I'm gonna see Jesus walk in and heal her and yet her health digressed and she ended up passing away in my arms. So when I say it wasn't just the loss, I mean, it was also the fact that we had believed and yet God didn't do what we asked him to do. I know so many people struggle with that. When God doesn't do what we ask him to do, we easily get stuck in pain and disappointment because we expected something different. We expected God to give us a life that might be easier than the one that we're living. And it's really easy to get stuck in that place when we don't understand the ways of God. We all face things that are random and painful and we all face things that seem wrong, especially when the outcome doesn't end the way we want them to. And though I can't see a good outcome, I know because I trust Him that there will be a good outcome in the end. God works all things for the good of our life. Just remembering that God is sovereign over it all. Life pain can be all that we see. It's all that we have in our eyes at times because it just envelops us. And when we allow it to do that, what happens is that pain becomes opaque. We can't see through it. But when we allow the Lord to give us this sense that there is more in store for us, more good that He has, kind of give us an eternal perspective, knowing that this is not the end. I'm just so thankful that God doesn't always listen to me and obey me because I'm so short-sighted. But God knows beginning to the end and He knows His plans for my life. So to trust Him forward, I think I just, I have to, I have to get to that place where I know that He's good and He's trustworthy. My circumstances aren't always good, but when we connect with Him through relationship, I think that's when we can experience Him and we can judge Him by our experiences with Him. I think the key to moving forward out of pain and disappointment and confusion with God is simply by learning to trust Him. And learning to trust Him is not always simple, but it's not complicated either. We can't lean upon the way we feel and we can't lean upon our pain because it's, it's very deceiving but God is always good. You know, Hebrews says that, that his unchanging nature is an anchor for our soul and it's firm and secure. As a pastor, the way that I stay fulfilled and um, able to give out to other people would definitely be by having an authentic and real relationship with God on a regular basis, connecting with God. Because we can't give out what we don't have. And connecting with God fills me up so that I can you know, help people, pray with people, encourage people. I'm so passionate about seeing people live a life of victory, a life where they believe no matter what they face, no matter what struggle that they go through, that they know that they know that they can overcome it. 
And I think that's how Christ wants us to live. That's, that's why Jesus died, so that we can have an overcoming life, overcoming our sin, overcoming our struggle, whatever it is. One of my favorite Jesus calling passages is found in March 5th. It says, make friends with the problems in your life. Though many things feel random and wrong, remember that I am sovereign over everything. <laughs>